Today's paper is end-to-end -end object detection with transformers. The paper adopts transformer network widely used in the machine translation field to object detection. Unlike other object detectors, the network doesn't require hand design components like anchor boxes or non-maximum suppression. The main features are the bipartite matching laws and transformers with parallel decoders. The figure shows the architecture of detection transformer network. The final set of detection are directly predicted in parallel. When training the network, bipartite matching uniquely assigns predictions with ground truth boxes. Predictions with no match yields to no object class prediction. One of the main difficulties of training is to score predicted objects with respect to the ground truth. Set prediction laws introduced in the paper produces an optimal bipartite matching between predicted and ground truth objects and optimizes object specific losses. The model always outputs n number of predictions. Here, the value of n is set larger than the number of objects in the image. For GT instances, the number of GT objects can be smaller than n. So, dummy labels are added before performing the matching process. Given n predictions and n labels, the loss function finds best possible one-to-one -one GT and prediction pairs that minimize the loss. This is shown in the equation located at the bottom. It computes the optimal assignment between prediction and ground truth objects, where y is the ground truth set of objects and y hat is the set of n predictions. Note that L match is a pairwise matching cost between ground truth yi and prediction with index sigma i. Next is to compute the Hungarian loss for all pairs matched in the previous set. Note that sigma hat in the equation is the optimal assignment. The loss is defined similarly to the losses of common object detectors, which means it is a linear combination of a negative log likelihood for class prediction and box loss. The model also includes bounding box loss defined as a linear combination of the L1 loss and generalized IOU loss. Further details of the loss function can be found in the paper. Here is a detailed description of the transformer network used in Detection Transformer. Image features comes from the CNN backbone, and they're passed through the transformer encoder together with spatial positional encoding that are added to queries and keys at every multi-head self-attention layer. The decoder receives queries, output positional encoding, and encoder memory. Then it produces final set of predicted class labels and bounding boxes through multiple multi-head self-attention and decoder-encoder attention. To understand more about the transformer network, I suggest reading the paper in detail. Detection transformer network is composed of three main components, CNN backbone, encoder-decoder transformer, and simple feedforward network. An image is first fed into the backbone network. Once set of image features are extracted, the model flattens and supplements extracted feature with a positional encoding before passing it into the transformer encoder. The transformer decoder takes as input a small fixed number of learned positional embeddings, also called as object queries, and additionally attends to the encoder output. Each output embedding of the decoder is passed to a shared feedforward network. If you want to predict n number of objects, the size of the object queries and the number of prediction heads should be set to n. And finally, each feedforward network predicts regions either as a valid object or a no object class. Table shows comparison of detection transformer with faster RCNN with ResNet 50 and ResNet 101 backbone. On COCO validation set, top three rows show the performance of RCNN in Detectron 2. Next three rows show the results of faster RCNN models with GIOU, randomly cropped train time augmentation, and the long nine times training schedule. The last four rows show the performance of detection transformer. The models achieve comparable results to heavily tuned FASTAR CNN baselines.
The figure shows the visualization of decoder attention for every predicted object. We can observe that the decoder typically attends to object extremities. As shown in the figure, the model attends well even to the occluded objects. The large elephant is occluded by the small elephant, but the model still attends well to the object extremities. Panoptic segmentation can also be performed using detection transformer model. This can be done by adding a mask head that predicts a binary mask for each of the predicted boxes. As shown in the figure, the head takes as input the transformer decoder output for each object. Then it computes multi-head attention scores of each embedding over the output of the encoder, generating M attention heat maps per object in a small resolution. Lastly, here's the figure showing qualitative results of panoptic segmentation. Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.